Welcome to Rai University Ahmedabad. We live in a world where our working and living style is defined and transformed by technology. In 21st century, it is important to keep pace with advancement in tech industry to survive in this competitive world. Laptops are one basic equipment that can be used everywhere and anytime and thus enables you to keep pace with latest innovation in technology. Want to study how to fix laptops? You have come to the right place. This course is designed to teach you everything associated with laptop repairing. Objective of this course is to empower you with the learning experience required to repair and maintain laptops. Through this course, take away the practical and technical expertise required for laptop repairing and get prepared to get jobs in competitive world of technology. After the completion of this course, you will be able to assemble and disassemble the laptop. You will gain the capability of how to troubleshoot different problems ranging from card level to chip level. You may even think of running off your own business after the successful completion of this course. Now, let us study repairing concept involved at card level. Before we exactly begin with the core concept and fundamental of card level repairing, let us first understand basic of electronics. Now we will study the concept of electricity. What is electricity? It is the set of physical phenomena associated with presence and flow of electric charge. It can also be defined as invisible force which can produce heat, light, sound and motion. It gives a wide variety of well-known effects such as lighting, electromagnetic induction, etc. It gives a wide variety of well-known effects such as lighting, electromagnetic induction, etc. Electricity can be broken down into electric charge, voltage, current and resistance. Electric charge is physical property of matter that cause it to experience a force when placed in an electromagnetic field. The symbol of charge is denoted by letter Q which stands for quantity. The practical unit of charge is called as coulomb which is denoted by letter capital letter C. One coulomb is equal to amount of charge of 6.25 into 10 raised to the power 18 electrons or protons stored in a dielectric. Voltage may be defined as potential energy that makes the electric current flow in a circuit by pushing the electron around. One volt is measure of amount of work required to move one coulomb of charge or we can say that one volt is equal to one joule of energy that can move one coulomb of electric charge. An electric current is flow of electric charge. When a charge is forced to move by applying voltage, then current is produced. In conductors, free electron can be produced to move with relative ease. Since they require little work to be moved, so we can say that current is charged in motion. Where more electrons in motion, the greater will be the current. Now, resistance may be defined as opposition to the flow of electric current. You might have noticed that a wire become hot when current flows through it. It shows that there is resistance offered to the flow of current. It is to remember that conductor have very little resistance whereas insulator offers large amount of resistance to the flow of current. An electronic component is any basic discrete device or physical entity in an electro An electronic component is any basic discrete device or physical entity in an electronic system used to affect electron or their associated fields. Electronic components have two or more electrical terminals. These components helps in building electronic circuit for various devices. You can easily identify these components such as resistors, capacitors, transistors, diode, switches and integrated circuits etc. A resistor is a passive two terminal electrical component that implements electrical resistance as a circuit element. 
Resistors act to produce current flow and at the same time act to lower voltage level within circuits. In electronic circuit, resistors are used to limit the flow of current, to adjust signal levels, bias active elements and to terminate transmission lines among other users. A resistor may be classified into two types that are fixed resistors and variable resistors. Resistors are common element of electrical network and electronic circuit. Fixed resistors are by far the most widely used type of resistors. They are used in electric circuits to set the right condition in a circuit. Their values are determined during the design phase of, of a circuit and they should never need to be changed and adjust to the circuit. They are made from resistance wire which is wound around a ceramic core. They can hold only certain amount of current. Variable or adjustable resistors are often needed within circuit to act as preset control within the circuit. The variable resistor is also widely referred to as potentiometer as a result of its configuration and allow you to regulate amount of current flowing through the circuit. The variable resistor comprises a fixed resistive element along with the slider passes. The another electronic component is a capacitor. They contain at least two electric com The another ele electronic component is capacitor. They contain at least two electric conductors separated by a dielectric. Capacitance is expressed as the ratio of electric charge Q on each conductor to the potential difference V between them. It is used to store energy in an electric field. 